right, we're gonna go ahead and continue with our media availabilities. Um, we are pleased to welcome Eric Jones, driver of the number 43 Legacy Motor Club um, Toyota. In addition to previewing the cup race, Eric is here on behalf of the Eric Jones Foundation. Last year, Kurt Busch officially passed the baton to Eric for the Window of Hope program. As part of the program, every NASCAR Cup Series driver entered this weekend will have a pink window net, which Eric has brought. Um, and these nets have been manufactured and donated by Thermal Control Products. Um, Eric, could you kind of expand on that partnership and what it means to you? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, so we took over the program last year, and it was a bit last minute. We didn't have a, a lot of opportunity to really um, take it into our hands. And this year, you know, we had a lot more lead in and a lot more time to really develop the program. And we were able to uh, work with Thermal Control Products a lot and really develop that relationship with Colleen over there. And, and that's been great for us. But at the end of the day, um, what it's really about is, is raising money for breast cancer and uh, early detection and, and prevention. So that's a huge pillar of our foundation, um, has been from the start, you know, three years ago. And looking forward to just seeing the window nets on the cars and at the end of the day, raising some great money uh, at the uh, for it and, and for the cause and partnered up with Blue Cross Blue Shield as well. So it uh, should be a fun, uh, a fun couple days. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and open it up to questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll work on getting a wireless mic to you. We'll start with Zach in the front, then Bob, and then in the back. Zach Sterniolo, NASCAR.com. Eric, what's been the most eye-opening part of this, uh, of being involved with this foundation um, over these last few years, whether that's a challenge or a, a rewarding part of it? What's just been the most eye-opening thing for you? I think it's all of it. You know, having a foundation is not... Um, it's, it's no walk in the park by any stretch of the imagination. There's a lot of time and effort that goes into it, you know, not just on my part, but from uh, our, our foundation director, Brent's part, um, from our volunteers, from our board members. There's so much that just goes into the foundation and making the world go round that, uh, you know, that side of it's a lot. But at the end of the day, the reward is the grant making that we get to do. You know, we're starting to make those discussions right now about the money we've raised from our events this year, where that's going to go. Uh, obviously, this program is huge for us this year. Um, and what we're going to raise for breast cancer and um, prevention and early detection. So, you know, the grant making is the best part of it. You know, it makes all the work worth it. You know, some days there's there's long days and a lot of uh, a lot of time put into it. But when when you can really put it back and see see it pay off and uh, get to hand that uh, that grant over, you know, that makes it makes it all worthwhile. We'll go to Bob in the middle. Uh, Bob Parker's Fox Sports. Do you expect Ben to be your crew chief next year, or do you feel like the next five races are kind of a tryout to see how you work together and do you feel like having somebody a crew chief who's kind of been in the Toyota system for longer than Dave was could be a help I would say it's you know a trial period currently obviously it looks like that's going to be the rest of the season uh here five races left so as far as next year goes you know I don't know how that alignment looks um we haven't <laughs> really got that far down the road so um, you know, I'm getting to know Ben and, and working with him through these next few. But, you know, as far as what, um, you know, the change looks like, obviously we haven't performed where we've wanted to. So, you know, at the end of the day, you got to do something different. And um, whether, you know, him being involved in that world and that system for longer makes a big difference, you know, I'm not sure. I haven't really, I haven't worked with Ben one-on-one um, -on -one this season, only from afar. So I don't really know, uh, I don't really know the answer to that. But, you know, I think it's right now a trial period to hopefully just see some change and see some results. And, you know, we want to uh, just get something moving in a different direction. We'll go to Jacob in the middle. Jacob Seelman, Race Face Digital. Eric, uh, kind of going back to last year when you first were, you know, the transition period of you taking over the Window of Hope initiative, uh, what did it mean to you to have somebody like Kurt, and I know you had kind of been a part of it when Kurt was spearheading it, but for Kurt to come to you and say, you know, I want you to be the one to continue this forward. Well, huge opportunity. Um, you know, I probably wouldn't have, it would have been a, a lot of uh, legwork for us to initially make a program like this happen. Kurt, at the end of the day, did a lot of the legwork, you know, before we were able to take it over to make this program a thing to begin with. And so when we had the opportunity to inherit it, you know, it, it just gave, a, gave us a great chance to make it 
you know, our own and hopefully improve it and make it bigger and better. But, you know, the leg work that he put in on the, uh, on the front side of it is something that um, would have been a, a big challenge for us to get going. So, you know, that was a huge honor. Um, excited to keep it going. It's a program that I think has been extremely visual in the, in the Cup Series for the last handful of years that it's been active. And uh, for me, it's just something I was, I was really, really pumped to take on. Every, you know, you see a lot of different initiatives through the season um, from different drivers, you know, in the car, whether it's gloves or names on the cars, you know, different ways that they raise money for foundations. But the Pink Window Net program has been probably the most visual of them all and um, was really excited to have an opportunity to bring it to our foundation. What do you have uh, going forward from here? Are there any other uh, big initiatives coming up through the foundation that you're working on? So I our last one for this year. Um, we do our two events. You know, we had our Clays for Causes early in the year this year, and then we had our three reasons to raise pretty recently, um, just a couple of weeks ago up in Michigan to finish out our, our actual fundraisers. And this is our, kind of our last one before the year uh, ends for us. But working on next year and getting everything going again, but this is the last one for now. Do we have any additional questions for Eric? Dustin in the front. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Um, I know obviously the goal is always to win each week or, or do as well as possible, but what are you looking at for these next five races after the way the, this season has gone for, for you and your team? Consistency. You know, we've had such an up and down run through the whole year. Um, you know, we haven't had, you know, a, as many flashes of speed as I would have hoped. You know, even last year, I felt like we had some flashes of speed and we just haven't really been able to recreate that this year. So, you know, just some consistency and whether that means top 20, you know, top 15 right now. I mean, that's that's good days for us, you know, staying on the lead lap. So um, if we can finish out the next five somewhere in that area, I think that's a step forward. Uh, and then continuing to gain through the off season, but you know, right now I think it, it's realistic goals. You know, like you said, yeah, you want to win, but right now I think top twenties are pretty happy days for us. Um, Talladega obviously was great with the top five, but you know, these top twenties, top fifteens would be really nice to finish the season out. And you know, you've had success in this sport and, and won and, and and so forth, but how do you how do you get through a season like this? I mean, certainly. A lot of guys have had years where it feels like you're just getting kicked in the gut every week, I'm sure. So how do you get through something like that week after week? Yeah, I mean, it's up and down, right? It's some years, man, you just can't do anything right. And, I mean, it's been one of those seasons, pri probably by far one of the most trying, uh, you know, I've, I've had in most of my racing career, for sure, in the Cup Series. Um, so that's, yeah, I mean, that's tough. I guess being through it a bit, you know, uh, before this has helped some, you know, it's not like this is the first down year we've had. So, um, yeah, I mean, you just got to take it for what it is. You know, I've fortunately been at it a while now. I feel like I'm a pretty level-headed guy in general, which probably helps out. But, you know, setting realistic goals, taking the days for what they're worth is the biggest thing for me. And, you know, hopefully moving on. And, you know, we're not stagnant, I guess, is the thing that, you know, you got to have a light at the end of the tunnel, right? If If you feel like you're running poorly and doing the same things, I mean, you're, you're going to get down. But, you know, right now I think we're making a lot of changes, and that gives you some hope. So just looking forward to that I think is the biggest thing that's been keeping me positive. We're going to end with Jordan. Jordan Bianchi, The Athletic, kind of following up on the previous questions. When you, when you look at this year, what needs to improve for you guys to take that step that a lot of people kind of thought you guys were poised to take this year? Yeah, I mean – I wish I could just give you one thing and say that was the answer. Um, you know, in general, obviously, we don't have any speed. You know, we, we just don't have it right now, so that's that's tough. But to fix that, it, it's not necessarily one part. It's not one person. It's not one tool. It's not one, you know, test. It, it's not one thing away. It, it's a handful of different pe pieces that we need to probably get better. Uh, it's processes we got to get better. You know, it's people we're moving around currently. It's people we're hiring currently. And all that takes time, uh, unfortunately. And, you know, with the people we've brought in, they don't, you know, when they start, when, when you start a new job, you don't know what's all going on, right? You don't know how your company works. You don't know how, where things are, what you're able to access and what's available. So, you know, the people we've brought on are good people, but 
they still have to have time to learn what is happening, you know, and figure out a plan from there. So unfortunately, that takes some time. And um, I don't think there's any magic in the sport anymore. There's not some part or piece you're going to build or find that's going to make you fast. It's a matter of doing every little thing correctly and, and adding them all up. So, you know, that's not an easy thing to do. It's it's probably easy to get your cars from, you know, running 30th to 20th, but from going from 20th to top five, I mean, that's a lot of magic in there. That's that's not easy to find. So that's that's going to take some time for us. All right. Thank you for joining us, Eric. We are looking forward to seeing those pink window nets go around the track tomorrow. Thank you. Great job, driver.